What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Randy and I make videos on entrepreneurship. And today I'm gonna to be getting into habits that will change your life. But before I start, I do wanna make an apology about my voice. My throat really isn't hurting me. I just for some reason can't talk right now. Something about my throat is messed up. So I hope you guys can bear with me through that because I really tried to make this week's video. I wasn't gonna make it originally because of this. However, I feel like I couldn't let you guys down. I had to post this Saturday, which obviously is today. And with all that being said and done and out the way, let's get into the actual content. And that is the habits that will change your life. And why they will change your life is because they They've changed mine in the past and they made me or for me in some way or another to who I am today. And the first habit that's very important to change your life, I think this is the most important of all the ones that I'm gonna say and that's why I'm putting it at the top and that is to listen. And I don't just mean to anybody, I mean to the right people, the people that are successful, that are doing better than you and the people that will put you in the right place. So for example, listen to me and like this video to help this video get in other people's faces for people that need to hear it. I know, but for real, on a serious note, I'm sure in the past you've been told not to hang out with that one friend because they're not good, they're no good, they're up to no good, they're no bueno, they're just gonna be a bad influence to you. And how many times were they right about that basically all the time right that's basically what i mean and in other cases if you want to talk financially listen to those people that have more money than you that are more financially stable that actually have something going on for them but not always because people have money means that they actually are more successful sometimes they have a lot of money but they just don't know how to maintain it they don't know how to budget it they don't know how to invest it they just have it because they have a good job maybe or whatever the case may be but you'll know who to listen to and who not to listen to just by the feeling in your gut you'll be able to feel people out and tell if they're bsing you or if they're actually telling you something serious that can bring you value to your life the second habit that will change your life which changed mine was to organize yourself, organize your life, organize everything that you do. It will one, make you feel better about yourself. And two, it will help you throughout your day and your life. What I'd like to do is I like to write down what I'm gonna do in the day. And I have to accomplish the majority of the things that I wrote down because as I scratch those things off as I do them, I feel way better about myself knowing that I completed something that I needed to do that day versus just laying in bed, playing video games or not being productive at all. You also wanna set goals for yourself, short-term and long-term. So short-term could be anything like I just said, anything you do in a day. And long-term you can consider it to be like a month, two or three down the line, maybe even years down the line. So let's say for me, I wanna retire by the age of 30. That's actually my main goal to not have to work after the age of 30 and be able to do whatever I want after that. Short-term goals right now would be do as much as I can right now while I'm here in Tallahassee and still in school. That way I can have that financial freedom once I get out of here and move to Vegas or California or wherever it is that I wanna go after I graduate. The third habit that would change your life, which I feel like is what everybody should have. Like this is what anybody in this world should have because the people that lack this are the people that get hurt the most. And that is have confidence in yourself and in your ability. So what having confidence in yourself means don't doubt yourself. One thing I hate is doubt. Like doubt kills more dreams than failure will ever will. Because if you go into something thinking you're gonna lose and you're not gonna get it, it's more than likely not gonna happen. And if it does happen, then you're just gonna think it was luck. Like you didn't do anything to earn it. It kind of just happened. My mentality when I do anything that I do is that I would never lose. That confidence pushes me to never take no for an answer. And you guys should never take no for an answer. Try to think positive. That positive mindset will take you very, very, very far. Anytime you think negative, try to think something positive about that because the negativity is only going to bring you down even more if you want something bad enough you got to go out there and get it the fourth thing on my list that is a habit that will change your life and that is to get out of the comfort zone don't be afraid to go out of the normal don't be afraid to be different than everybody else i know it's easier to do what everybody else is doing for example getting a regular job a nine to five but doing normal things is only going to keep you a normal person and that's not the person we want to be on this channel i'm assuming that's why you're here watching this video but if you don't want to be normal you have to get out of your comfort zone you gotta stand out and you will succeed some prime examples of this are elon musk this man thinks way outside the box we've had traffic problems for so many years and this man thought to build underground tunnels and he's actually taking action. Apple was the first company to come out with the most innovative smartphone and they changed the game. This right here is the most important piece of technology that we can have nowadays. It came from Apple for standing out. They didn't wanna go out and make a regular slide out texting keyboard kind of phone. They didn't wanna make a flip phone. They said, you know what? We're gonna come out with a touchscreen phone and they revolutionized the game. And another example to show you guys different markets is Mr. Beast. This man is a genius. He stands out completely different because he started making different content on YouTube and now he's one of the most watched YouTubers and one of the fastest growing YouTubers on the platform. It just goes to show you guys that once you get out of your comfort zone, you will succeed. The fifth habit that will change your life and will really influence a lot of things that you do and really shapes you to who you are is to become friends with people that have the same mentality as you or become friends with people that you wanna have the same mentality of. So a quick little example so you guys understand what I mean. Druggies are gonna hang out with druggies 
because that's just who they are and that's who they want to be. Bums are going to hang out with bums because those are who they want to be. And if you're around millionaires, chances are you're going to become a millionaire because you're going to be around them. You're going to hear what they talk about. You're going to see what they do to become a millionaire, to make those millions of dollars, thousands of dollars, whatever it is they make to get to the millions. And you will eventually take action. You will have the same mindset as them. You will have the same work ethic. Take a look around and see who your friends are. Your closest friends are going to be most likely like you. You act like them. They act like you. You guys just eat off of each other. You guys feed off of each other. And that's just how energy works. The people you hang around with the most are going to share the same kind of energy with you and vice versa. If you want to be successful, you have to hang around successful people because these people will push you to be who they are not because they want to because they might just do it subconsciously and if they're your real friends they'll do it because they want to they want to help you and you want to help them better themselves as well once you start hanging out with these people you'll begin to think alike and not come up with good ideas but great ideas because two minds are better than one and the bigger the group, the better the idea. Now, this doesn't mean to become business partners because that's a whole different story. I'm just saying, hang out with those people that you wanna be like and you will become just like them. Coming up on the sixth habit and the very last one that will change your guys' life as far as it's changed mine, and that is to invest. Invest your money. If you don't, chances are you're going to stay where you are unless all you do is get a raise and that's the kind of life you want to live. But like I said, that has to go back with getting out of your comfort zone, not being normal, being different. One way to think about money is not as something that pays for things, but think about it as a tool that will make you more. Just like a hammer can build things, money can build things as well, just in a different way. For example, if you make a thousand dollars, most people, most normal, regular people will spend those thousand dollars. But if you have those thousand dollars and you use 50% of it, which is $500 to hire somebody to make you another thousand dollars, you then had 500 left from the last thousand. And then you have a new thousand because that new employee made you that. So in total, you have $1,500. And then you can take 500 of that new thousand to hire another person to make you another thousand. Then you have $2,000 in total. It's literally just a tool that you guys can use to make more of it. So the real cash machine to make money is money. Money makes itself. And it's really not that difficult. It's basically just a repeating formula to make more of itself. You just gotta figure out how to make that first thousand. And once you find out how to make that first thousand without a regular job, like I said, you hire somebody to make your next thousand and then you hire again somebody to make your next thousand and repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. This is how businesses work. That's literally all the businesses. And that's why they have so many employees to handle different aspects of it. But all these employees are doing is making that person richer. So right now, if you're working a regular job, you're making somebody else richer. And I don't know how that makes you feel, but that made me feel like crap when I think about it. I gotta do that for the rest of my life until I turn 60 years old, because that's supposed to be the normal time that you're supposed to retire. I don't think so. Like that's just not for me. That's not in my brain. I just can't picture myself the next 45 plus years waking up 8 a.m. just to work for somebody from nine to five, come home, and then do what? Watch TV, watch YouTube, watch Netflix, pay video games, go out to the club, drink and that. Yeah, you can have fun every once in a while here and there, but if you wanna change yourself and change your lifestyle and change who you are and become a better person and become a better you, you gotta start changing up your regular routine. And I just gave you six habits that will more than definitely change your life. And you will feel as you add one by one, you don't have to do all these at the same time, but as you add one by one, start off with what's easiest for you and then move on to the next one, you will feel that you're that better person every single day. My goal, which is something I didn't speak up earlier on, but it's my goal every single day, is to be a better person than I was yesterday. And when I first heard this, I never understood what it meant, but it means to literally just be better than you were yesterday. Like let's say if I never started a YouTube channel and I was just thinking about it, like, yeah, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, but I never did it. But actually the next day I ended up doing that, then that little step means that I was a better person than I was yesterday because yesterday I wasn't doing anything. The next day I was doing at least something. And I wish you all watching this video the best on your journey to becoming a better you because that's basically what this video is about. Changing your life and becoming a better person for yourself and for everybody else. Anyways guys, that's it for today. If you guys made it this far, comment down below. I will become a better me. I will better myself or anything along those lines in the comments down below. So I know that you guys made it this far and so I know that you guys are making a promise to yourself that you will become a better person because there's always room for improvement, even for myself today. I'm nowhere near perfect and I'm far from it actually. But if you guys can do me a favor, like this video, it would help me a lot. Also subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you guys don't miss out on any future videos just like this one. And today's fan of the day goes to Setin. He says, who needs Jake Paul's financial freedom when we got you? I don't know if he was joking or not about that, but I mean, hey, you always got me, guys. I'm gonna be here for a while and I don't plan on going anywhere. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.